the Idaho News 6 forecast. Fire season is ramping up, unfortunately, here in the Pacific Northwest. And today that wind sticking around, which is, of course, going to contribute to our fire weather danger today. Now, some good news, cooler weather in our regional forecast. We'll take a peek at that in just a minute. Now, going up to Tamarack Resort overlooking Cascade Lake, you can see that the valley is a glow because of that haze, unfortunately. So we are definitely starting to see thicker levels here this morning. And here in Idaho, we are seeing smoke. It is on the lighter side compared to the thicker components that are concentrated there towards the coast in Oregon, towards central Washington, north Idaho, and then pushing around through Canada to the Midwest. So definitely a lot of us in the country are dealing with this smoke. Now, locally, we are looking at some areas of reduced air quality. It's more moderate there in McCall and Cascade along Long Valley and also there in, a, the, in the Treasure Valley in Owyhee County a little bit too. So definitely starting to see that impact on healthy levels levels concentrated there in Oregon. Now today in our future track, we're not looking at a lot of things happening in our skies. We're not going to see a lot of cloud cover, so we are going to see that sunshine. But again, it is smoky outside. In addition to that lack of cloud coverage, we're going to see our winds subdued a little bit. It was pretty breezy out there yesterday. Today it's going to be a little bit better. It's still going to be a bit windy, especially here in the East Central Mountains. We could see some pretty strong wind gusts towards our north today, while that I-84 corridor remains a little bit less, a little bit more calm, I guess. Overnight, the wind's going to die down, but we are def definitely still seeing some activity uh, in terms of wind, which is not good because when it's hot, windy, and dry, that contributes to fire weather danger. And when a spark uh, if wildfire sparks, it tends to spread really quickly when we have conditions like this. So that's why we do have a red flag warning continuing to be in effect in Owyhee County, but it's expanded to encompass part of the Magic Valley and into the East Central Mountains. Now around Arco today and uh, Craters of the Moon, we could see ex especially strong wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour. So it is going to be breezy in the East Central Mountains today. The Treasure Valley. So here's our regional forecast. Temperatures are so much better today. I cannot complain about these low 90s here for the Boise area, mostly clear with those hazy conditions and then even cooler weather in the West Central Mountains. We're looking at 79 in McCall, 77 in Cascade, up towards the north in Riggins, a high of 92 today, 87 in Idaho City, not too bad there. East Central Mountains also seeing that temperature reduction and it's going to be pretty breezy over here. That average wind speed around 15 miles per hour. We're looking at a high of 81 in Sun Valley. If you're going to play a round of golf today in Sun Valley, the temperature is good, but that wind could send that golf ball flying. Now, Magic Valley, mostly sunny over here. It'll be a bit breezy in this region, too. And of course, we have that red flag warning in effect for areas of the Magic Valley. So be fire safe out there today. Temperatures in the low 90s. I do not mind those at all. So the Magic Valley and the Treasure Valley are really mirrored today in terms of our temperature. We're looking at a high of around 90 degrees in the Magic Valley today, warming up towards the mid 90s over the week. Weekend. We're going to be slightly warmer in the Treasure Valley, especially as we head towards the weekend. But today, a high of around 93 degrees. By the time we hit the weekend, we're going to be close to the triple digits.